So, Sivran, I heard Hello. you have something pretty exciting to show. Yes, I've been working on the modifier stack yeah. and to get the modifiers to work in 2.8. Uh, for that, we need the cool stuff that Sergey made for the depth graph, which yeah. is copy on write, which means that we basically have a sim more simple data structure in Blender itself. So we can simplify code, uh, but it does need to be ported over to the new system. So it requires some extra work. Um, so I've been working on a very simplest of simplest of modifiers, which is the simple deform. <laughs> no pun intended, no? Yeah, no. Um, also, just to get a little bit more familiar with how the modifier stack actually works. Yeah. Um, and, and here I've imported the dragon file from Cosmos Laundromat. And we're in Eevee. It's just loaded. It lost its little pupils there because I merged everything into one mesh. So okay. It even had the pupils. Nice. Um, so now we can add a modifier and just start toying with it. There we go. <laughs> it's simple, but it works. So that is officially the first modifier to work in 2.8? It is, yeah. And of course, EV, so it looks much better. Also, the wireframes look better. Nice. Yeah. Did you say wireframes? <laughs> Wireframes? <Yes>. Triggered. <laughs> is that the word, the W word? So, what's next? What are you going to work on next uh, next week, do you think? Um, next is, the, what I'm working on now is the build modifier, because that is a constructive modifier instead of uh, just deforming. Yeah. So that's uh, other code that also needs to be ported. Um, Maya Laval actually laid the groundwork for this. So she duplicated some functions that take the old style data, convert it into new, new style one. data, then feed it to the new style functions, and that's what I'm filling up and seeing uh, if there's any other places that need some extra work. I mean, you never really know that something's working until you try it. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Awesome. And then next week, yeah, I'll have to make plans for like a bigger chunk of work. So that will be caching, particles, air, uh, simulation data, uh, all that kind of stuff. Alembic should probably go through some generic caching mechanism. Uh, okay, that sounds a bit more complex. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, thank you very much and good luck. <laughs> awesome. Yeah.